Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, we are doing these very different, unique meal preps because I'm sorry, but if you are tired of seeing dry broccoli, dry rice, and dry chicken all the time, then you'll be grateful for this because these actually tasted so good. I know they look a bit rogue, but you gotta change up what you're eating sometimes. You cannot be punishing your taste buds, okay? Taste buds have feelings too, and we should respect them. So yeah. Let's go. Um, so what we're gonna be making are three different meals you could see. I'm gonna start off putting some olive oil on a pan because I'm gonna make the chicken first. So I'm gonna put the chicken on, smother in the olive oil. Notice that there's no skin on that, by the way. Remove the skin and then season it with some Cajun spice and some chicken seasoning. Um, I also pack them all in one pan and let them like sit in their own juices because that makes them more succulent and not so dry. Pop those in the oven at like 200 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes whenever the juice runs clear and that they are done. Next step, I'm going to grab my fry light spray, spray that on some foil. Um, and then I'm going to put my salmon on there. Look how chunky and beefy those salmon fillets are. Can you imagine how much they cost? Absolutely ridiculous. Like, why is salmon, like, like, why is it so expensive? Anyway, I pop that in the oven too, in the foil for, you know, however long it says on the packet. Then I'm going to grab my diced pork, um, and I'm going to just kind of, like, fry that a little bit, brown that a bit. Um, yes, I did drop in the bit of paper, I just didn't even realise lol professional um and then i'm gonna add some fry light to brown that in then i'm gonna realize the air of my ways and remove that um and add in some more spray stuff then i'm gonna use some thyme and uh add that to give a nice aromatic 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 scent some black pepper and some medium curry powder once those are browned, I'm going to wash me some red lentils. Lentils are so high in protein, full of fiber, really good for you and really cheap. So I'm going to throw those in the pan. Then I'm going to add some hot water and just soften those for a bit. If you want to save time, just get the ready softened ones. And I'm going to add in one chicken stock cube or like a stock cube of your choice. In fact, I feel like that was a vegetable stock cube doesn't matter then I'm adding in some sliced red onions oh my goodness by the way life-changing no tears you just chuck them in how great is that when they're already sliced then I'm gonna add back in the uh, browned pork next I'm gonna fry up some asparagus super easy with the coconut fry light spray and then after that I'm gonna throw in some vegetable stew mix vegetables again like don't waste your time cutting and peeling just go to the shop and get them it's pretty much the same price to be honest and this oh i'm getting emotional just looking at it it was the tastiest pork stew i've ever had i don't know if i've ever had a different pork stew but this honestly it tasted so good like i really looked forward to it i know it can end up looking a little bit gruely but oh my gosh hot damn yeah it was good next we are adding in my absolute new fave which is gnocchi notchy gnocchi i don't know internet correct me please um, so this is so easy to cook, super quick, just some salt, some hot water, and literally it's done in like two minutes. And I'm mixing up some milk with my whole, oh my goodness, I should have checked how to pronounce those, with my hollandaise, hollandaise sauce thing. My stew is done. Oh gosh, I missed that meal. I need to make that again. Mixing up my sauce, add that to the meal prep with the asparagus and the salmon and the gnocchi. Um, note, my sauce was lumpy because as you saw I just chucked in the whole packet. Don't do that, like sieve it or something. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to leave those cool and freeze those. Disclaimer, you're not supposed to reheat the packet because it's got milk in it, so do that at your own risk. And then I serve up my stew, which was super easy, one pot meal. And then if you're wondering what happened to the chicken, I did not forget. Add the chicken, this is so easy. Add some spinach, just wash it, chuck it in. We're making a curry fam, a really healthy curry. Then we're going to grab some Rogan Josh sauce, um, just literally out of a bottle. You can add more spices if it's not to your taste. I'm just using like that as the cheapy version. Um, and then I'm going to use these protein folded flatbreads, which are actually so nice. And I wrap those in cling film and I freeze those too. And I can't tell you how great this meal prep was for the week. Like I looked forward to every meal. Every meal tasted good. Do you know how that feels to know that it not only is healthy, but it also tastes good? Um, 
yeah, th these pictures are just to remind you not to forget that I post loads of recipes with all the nutrition values over on my Instagram, so come check it out, at Dr. Sarah Sienna. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. I love you. Have a wonderful day.